So I believe the reason for our success is that we have a team approach. We don't just have one lawyer handling the case. Our team is basically the whole firm. We have five lawyers, several paralegals, clerks that are on that team at all times. And we are involved in every case. And so we're directing it, we're making sure that it's being handled right, we're making sure that we're going to win. Los Angeles lead civil trial attorneys Garo Martirosian and Armin Akaragian took on a case against LA County police misconduct involving the shooting and tragic death of Frank Mendoza, an innocent man who was slain in vain during a police takedown. Mr. Mendoza was a hardworking grandfather who was tragically killed in the middle of a police takedown of a gang member in the same neighborhood. Mr. Mendoza was in his house with his wife, grandkids, and son when a known gang member, Cedric Ramirez, broke into the Mendoza house with a gun in an attempt to flee from police who were about to arrest him. The police officers surrounded the Mendoza residence and waited for the criminal outside the front door. During this, Mr. Mendoza's son and grandkids made it out of the house safely, but when Mr. Mendoza stepped outside, a deputy shot Mr. Mendoza, twice, even though he looked nothing like the suspect and was unarmed. What was special about the Mendoza case was how Frank Mendoza, the gentleman who unfortunately was shot and killed, uh, was such a special person in the community. Uh, he always had his door open to people in need, uh, people who had rough times in their lives. He had five children of his own, and his wife had three children from a previous marriage, and so he basically had eight kids that he was responsible for. My dad was a person who would do anything for his kids, his grandkids. Um, to him, family came first. When I came down to visit, he used to just take days off just to hang out with me and my daughter and my wife. And to me, I think I'm, my dad is living proof of what I have today. He just always pushed you if you were, he always, you know, if you were going off the wrong path, he made sure you got right back onto it. All my friends, they, you know, looked at him as like the fa their own father. You know, and he took, like everyone on the football team, he was pretty much, you know, that was, that, that was their son or were, you know, took him as his own sons. So what went wrong? What went wrong was bad police tactics from the get-go. They wanted to tell a different story, the Sheriff's Department. They didn't want to accept responsibility. They wanted to blame everybody but themselves. Contrary to what the defendant argued, the Martirosian and Akaragian firm, through meticulousness and out-of-the-box thinking, proved that the defendant's statements were false. Like the uphill battle of many civil police force cases, the Martirosi and Akaragian firm had the tough challenge of facing qualified immunity laws and proving evidence. There was a tremendous amount of discovery, as I've mentioned in this case, but we also uh, prepared some models, three-dimensional models, to demonstrate what happened that day. So there was no doubt that the jury was going to find the sheriff's deputy 100% at fault for this incident. First of all, because of their lack of preparedness, their lack of command, and control of the scene, and then for shooting an innocent man, that was just unforgivable. We asked him, where were you standing, deputy? And he put a circle where he was standing. We said, wait a minute, if you were standing there, how come the casings from your gun were all the way out 30 feet away in the next door neighbor's driveway? And they said, well, that's how these, these casings fly out of these automatic pistols. I said, okay, uh, are you sure about that? Yeah, yeah, of course. The fearless firm spares no expense when assembling their team of experts and resources, such as engineers, ballistics, and trajectory specialists, in order to gear up their witnesses for trial. With ingenuity and technique, they build their case with great detail, reconstructing the scene of the incident using full-scale 3D models turning the tides in trial with supporting evidence. So we say you're not in the lawn, you're out there in the driveway of the next door neighbor. And so you're not in harm's way, you did not have to shoot, you could have waited, you could have taken cover, you could have concealed yourself. They say, no, no, he was out in the middle of the lawn. So what we had to do was not just get an exemplar pistol and shoot and see how far those casings fly, but we wanted the specific pistol. Luckily, they had 
put away the pistol in evidence. In order to bring justice to this case, Garo Martirosian and Armin Akaragian knew that they had to uncover the defendant's misrepresentation of the evidence. Well, we had back and forth motions and uh, the judge on the case ruled that we had a right to get that pistol and to test it ourselves with our experts at a firing range. But they wouldn't just hand it to us, they wouldn't just drop it off, they wanted to hand it to us at the range. Not just any sheriff's deputy, but the deputy that actually did the killing, that actually fired the gun, wanted to hand me the gun that day. I said, fine. So we showed up at a firing range, there were like 20 of us out there, many sheriff's deputies, lots of lawyers, our expert, and we measured where those bullet casings go. And we were able to show that those casings don't fly any more than about six to eight feet from the pistol. They don't fly 30 feet. So what we showed was the deputy lied or was mistaken where he, st where he was standing. And he actually had to be in the neighbor's driveway over 30 feet away from what he perceived to be a danger. So he had no reason to fire when he fired because that whoever was coming out of that front door could not have been a threat to him anyway. In order to bring justice to this case, Garo Martirosian and Armin Akaragian knew that they had to uncover the lies in the defendant's verdict. Beyond the fault of the gang members' actions, the deputy did not adhere to proper training and fired the shots without good reason. The firm sought after claims against the deputy for his fatal mistake and began their countless hours of investigation into carefully researched evidence in order to prove the deputy's wrongdoing. This was a case that involved a lot of back and forth, a lot of he said, she said, many depositions of sheriff's deputies, defense experts, plaintiff's experts, many, many depositions and law in motion with the downtown courthouse. It was satisfying that we got it resolved in a way that will make this family now um, better off uh, financially, but never better off without their dad. The ultimate loss to the Mendoza family can never be accounted for, nor their wounds ever healed. But in the end, after a long and hard-fought battle, the case settled in favor of the Mendoza family for a record $14,350,000. Today, the Mendoza family is thankful for the firm's diligence and hard work, which resulted in a lifetime of financial support for their loss. So these are the kinds of cases we handle. These are the kinds of cases that we're motivated to come to work every day, to help people with the tragedy that has befell them. And this is what, you know, we love doing. And we do it with a tremendous amount of, you know, devotion and gusto. And uh, we want to win. We want to win for our clients. And there's nothing we won't do to make sure that that happens.